Insights TV with me, Esma. As winter deepens, a fierce storm has gripped Britain, France and Ireland, throwing daily life into disarray. From widespread power outrages to transportation gridlocks and perilous weather warnings, the storm's impact has been severe, serving as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power. This week, a massive winter storm swept through Western Europe, bringing it in relentless rain, gale force winds and freezing temperatures. The blizzard left a trial of destruction in its wake, with coastal areas bearing the brunt of the assault. Reports of towering waves and flooding have inaudited news channels, while inland regions have faced heavy snow and icy conditions. It is predicted that the storm will clear from the far northeast early Tuesday, though risks of further downpours and strong winds remain across the south of the UK until Wednesday. The Met Office has warned. Here's a special story from Foresight TV. Ireland, Britain and France are facing travel chaos as winter storm lashed northwest Europe with strong winds, heavy rain, snow and ice. In the United Kingdom, the storm disrupted transport network and grounded flights. Train services were cancelled across swaths of the country as strong winds toppled trees into tracks, leaving thousands of commuters stranded. More than 280 flights in and out of London Heathrow Airport were cancelled over the weekend with nearly 1,200 flights delayed. Highways turned treacherous as black ice and poor visibility caused problems. Schools in part of Scotland and Northern England were forced to close as authorities scrambled to prioritize public safety. Meanwhile, power cuts plunged tens of thousands of homes into darkness and emergency services worked around the clock to restore electricity in battered rural areas. More than 55,000 properties were left without power in Ireland due to the storm bird. In Britain, the national grid operator stated that power has been reinstated to most of the homes and businesses. But still in southwest England, more than 4,000 properties are still without electricity. Northern France also faces a similar situation with some 47,000 homes remained without power two days after the country was battered by storm. Ireland too felt the storm's wrath as it faced relentless rainfall and violent winds. Coastal towns experienced significant flooding with business and homes submerged underwater. While the storm's havoc is undeniable, stories of resilience and community spirit have emerged as bright spots in the glue. From volunteers delivering supplies to stranded families to neighbors clearing snow from paths and roads, people have railed to support one another. Local governments and meteorological agencies have urged vigilance as the storm's tail end underway to address the aftermath, but with more adverse weather potentially on the horizon, rebuilding with a prolonged process. This catastrophic event underscores the growing importance of robust infrastructure and climate-resilient planning in the face of increasingly severe weather events. Scientists have warned that climate change could amplify the intensity and frequency of such storms, urging nations to bolster their defenses against these natural disasters. As Britain, France and Ireland navigate this crisis, the storm serves as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of humanity and nature and the need to prepare for the challenges of a changing world. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Foresight TV with me, Isma.